in this session let us now go for the remaining tools from the linear elements toolbar over here we have seen and completed the place smart line option the next option is the place line option place line option can again be used just similar to your smart line we we'll click over here and this is our acute draw sorry this is the acute draw using the acute draw and the smart line option i'll select over here right now over here the length is checked that means the length is logged i'll unlock it and now i can use it just like your smart line over here i'll go over here and in order to specify the length i can use acute draw as well over here i'll type in say 5 units enter left click then in this direction 3 enter and left click back in this direction 5 enter left click and 3 enter and left click right this is how we used it using the acute draw also we can also use the same option wherein you can go with the creation of lines by using the place line option select the length over here type in 3 enter the angle i'm going to specify it as 0 degrees now you have the line over here you can place it anywhere this is a 3 units line then next you would want a vertical line over here i can specify the length as 1.5 enter and the angle as 90 degrees that is the line which we get now from there again i'll proceed in this direction i'll go over here the length i'm selecting 3 and the angle i'm going to select as 0 degrees sorry if you go with 0 degrees it will be to the horizontal you need to go with 180 degrees in order to come over here i'll go with undo and i'll create this line in this way this is the three units line over here in this direction I click again use one more line over here 1.5 and the angle being 90 degrees place it over here in this way again the angle the length should be 3 enter angle should be 180 degrees enter now place it over here after placing left click and then right click to come out of the command again we need one more line of 1.5 distance and the angle we can choose it to be 90 as well as 270 if i go with 270 i'll be getting the cursor upwards of the line if i go with 90 degrees i'll be getting the cursor down of the line place it over here and your rectangle is complete this is nothing but your place line option but usually we go with the smart line option itself moreover over here when you go with this line option place line option you cannot have a join of all the elements that is these elements will behave as single entities only if i try to delete them using this option i'll have to delete each and every line separately there's no option to join them over here in this particular tool okay so this was our place line option the next option is the multi lines option this multi lines option is again uh, again has a lot of sub options so what we'll do is we'll do this multi line option in the next session for now we'll shift to streamline option these options would not take so much time so i'll go with this place streamline string option which is only used in order to draw streams in this way that is over here depending upon your delta length these streams are generated you need not click anywhere as you move the cursor this line keeps on generating when you go with right click it stops that is your streamline option this entire thing will act like a single entity you can delete select delete and click on it and delete the entire element that is nothing but your streamline option select it and this is how you get it okay the next option over here is after place streamline we have the place point or stream curve option this option is used to draw splines as we know them 
these are referred to as stream curves over here that is nothing but the spline over here which you get that is at the vertices you have smooth corners rounded now the same spline option you can go with points or again you can select stream when you select stream you will be getting it randomly as you move the cursor you will be getting the spline getting created in this way right. that is your stream curve option the next option over here is construct angle bisector this option construct angle bisector is used to construct a bisector between two lines two lines which are at an angle between each other can be divided with equal angles on either side using this option let us first create two lines over here so i'm creating one line over here remove this length option and now i can specify the length in this way and one more line over here in this way let us create one more right so now i'll go with the construct angle bisector option select this and now over here you can read enter endpoint of angle leg this acts like a prompt which will be prompting us to make the selections this bar over here will act like a prompt suggesting the next input so it is asking us to enter endpoint of angle leg i'm selecting this endpoint as the endpoint of the angle leg next we need to select the angle vertex click on this point the point through which all the lines are going to pass and next you need to select endpoint of the other angle leg we have already selected this one we need to select this one when you click on this automatically you get this point or this line created which is at equal angles to this line as well as this line that is nothing but the option called construct angle bisector i can again select this i'll select this lines end point this as the vertex and this as the other end point in this way that is about your construct angle bisector let us delete all the elements select over here select all and delete on the keyboard now the next option over here is construct minimum distance line let me create an arc over here in this way and next i'll pan this a little draw one more line over here select the lines option and draw one more line in this one the next option over here is construct minimum distance line click on this identify the first element the second element and left click to accept it now this line which we have over here is the minimum distance line between this arc and this other line that is nothing but your minimum distance line let me draw one more arc over here in this way this is the arc this is the line i'll select this option construct minimum distance line select this line and this arc again go with your left click in order to get a minimum distance line between the two let us now create a few inclined lines in this way now after the construct minimum distance line option we have the option of constructing line at active angle that is for this particular line the active angle is set for this there is a different active angle for this there is a different active angle when you click on this option now over here select this line and wherever you select from there another line keeps getting created at an angle which is along this particular line go in this direction i'll be getting the line over here in this way select this option over here and i want it in this direction active angle is currently set as 90 degrees let us remove this 0 degrees enter and now this is your 0 degrees 
that is along that particular direction. If you go with 90 degrees, you will be getting perpendicular to the selection. Right now it is 0. I will create over here and this is the line. Select this and create it in this direction till here. This is the line. Now the difference over here is the two lines are overlapping because you have created a one more additional line. Now this is one line and this is one line. Both of them are at equal inclination. This is the second line. That is nothing but your construct line at active angle option. Let us stop the session over here.